Whether you've only had a pet snake for a few weeks or have been caring for pet snakes for years, like myself, almost every snake keeper is going to have a snake throw up at least once in their snake keeping experience. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing what to actually do after your snake has thrown up and how to prevent it from happening a second time. Hey guys, my name is Benjamin and I run this Reptile channel you guys are currently watching on YouTube. And on this YouTube channel, we go over a bunch of different stuff, over a few different species of reptiles, but our main focus is ball pythons, trying to give you guys the best possible care that you can have for your pet. So if you guys are interested in that kind of content, please go down and hit that big red subscribe button. It would really mean the world to us. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at what to actually do after your ball python, or any pet snake for that matter, has thrown up a meal. So the first thing we want to do after we've seen that a ball python, we'll just use that as an example in today's video, has thrown up a meal, is we want to make sure, just go back to the basics and make sure all of our care is on point with the heat, with the humidity, with hiding spots, just making sure that the snake is in the correct setup because most of the time, from what I've seen, it's just that your heat is off. Humidity and hides aren't going to have too much of an impact on it, but if the snake does feel scared without a hide, or humidity could have a very small effect on it, it could have the sort of need or want to throw up a meal. So first thing you want to do is check in and make sure temperatures are on point. If the temperatures are too high, that could lead to throwing up, and if they're too low, that could definitely lead to throwing up, because the ball python doesn't have enough heat to properly digest the food in their stomach. The second thing you want to do is go into that cage and make sure that your ball python is okay. Now this could also be put in as step one, but really after a snake throws up, it is much more traumatic than if a human or like a dog would be to throw up. When humans throw up, it's more of a gushy sort of mush, more of a sort of cream mixture. But when snakes throw up, they're throwing up an entire rodent that has claws, teeth, eyes and all sort of rough edges that can really hurt a snake internally. So you want to make sure that your snake isn't showing any signs of being in pain or having any internal problems because of throwing up that huge meal. If your snake does show any signs of being in pain or if you see especially any blood coming out of their mouth or anything like that, the best thing to do is going to be to go to your local herp vet. Now you could give it a day or so just to see if the snake gets better, but honestly if you're seeing some really bad symptoms after they've thrown up, going to the vet is going to be your best bet to make sure that your pet gets back on track and feeding regularly for you again. Now number three on what you want to do, and this is more of a stage of the aftermath of throwing up, is do not feed that snake for two to three weeks after it's thrown up. If it's a baby, I would only give it two weeks because babies don't have too much room for error in terms of how much food they actually need in their body to survive and function. But if it's an adult, I would say give them three weeks off and don't even feed them. Because after that snake's thrown up, the last thing you want to do is put another rodent in their system that could do even more internal damage if there is any cuts or scrapes inside of the snake's body. Number four is going to be after the snake has gone through its sort of break period from food, whether it be two, three, or even four weeks, you want to offer a smaller sized rodent. Now, let's say you're feeding a large rodent, that doesn't mean just go down a little bit. I'm talking about going down an entire size. So if you're feeding large, go to medium. If you're feeding medium, go to small. Make sure it's not too small of a prey so the snake is actually going to try to take it, but you don't want to put another meal the exact same size into your snake that it just threw up. Because some of the times, not only can heat play a huge role into it, but sometimes it's just that the meal was too big. And the last thing we want to do is put another meal into that snake that could also be too big and have it throw up a second time. And once that snake has accepted that prey, whether it be a small rat, a medium rat, or whatever size you're feeding, you feed a size smaller. Once it has eaten that, you slowly work your way back up to the right meal it should be eating. Now, I can't say this for all species because it's different with blood pythons, ball pythons, carpet pythons, corn snakes, king snakes. All species are different, but you always, again, going back to the basic husbandry, want to check and make sure that you aren't feeding a rodent that is too big to the snake. Because from my experience, the three things I've seen that are going to impact your snake in throwing up the most are going to be number one, too big of meals, 
Number two, not a hot enough hot spot. And number three, stress. Following these steps should help get your pet snake back on track and feeding consistently and hopefully ending the problem of your snake regurgitating its meals. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys would do me one favor, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're already subscribed, turn on those post notifications so you'll get a message every time we upload a new video. To make sure you guys are getting the best possible care for your pet reptiles, and specifically for your pet ball pythons. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you want to ask this channel about snakes throwing up, please leave it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,